Um, but somehow, a miracle happened. I don't know how it happened. But when I woke up, um, I was on a bus. I was on a bus. I don't know how I got there. That's the God's honest truth. I really don't remember getting on the bus. And I remember waking up and I was sitting next to this elderly black lady. And I looked at her. And, and the eerie thing about it was you could hear the screaming from outside of the bus. But inside the bus, it was completely silent. And I remember looking at her. And she just looked at me. And she didn't look like she was crying, but she looked like her eyes were very wet. And she put her hand on my hand. And she just started saying a prayer. Thanking God that we had gotten out. And I, I couldn't cry at that moment. I don't know why. I couldn't cry at that moment. I wanted to so bad, but I couldn't. So we started driving. And the first um, gas station we got to was in uh, northern Louisiana. And we got out of the bus. And we rushed into the store. And there was a big table with all these little cups of ice. It was amazing. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I went to grab one. And I looked down and there was a sign. It said, one dollar. They were charging one dollar for a cup of ice. I took two. For no dollars. <laughs> um, there's not a judge in hell that was going to persecute me for something like that. But, um, I ran out front to get on the payphone to call my mom, and the payphone didn't work. And then I saw there was a payphone across the street at the other gas station, so I ran over there. And, um, excuse me. And, uh, I, I, I called my mom from that phone, and I called her, and, uh, I just said, you know, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in northern Louisiana. I'm like, I, you know, I'm safe. I don't really know where they're going to bring us. Um, they haven't told us where they're bringing us. Apparently, nobody knows where we're going. Nobody knows anything. There's no communication as far as one bus driver to the next bus driver. Nobody knows where we're going, but I just know that I'm on a bus and I'm going to safety. And that's when I started crying. And at that point, I, I just really felt like everything's going to be okay now. And they took us, they ended up taking us to a little town called Tyler, Texas. And, um... They brought us to this, like, it was like a Boy Scout camp or something. Or a Christian camp. Or some kind of camp for young boys or whatever. And they had a little tent set up for us. And there were probably about 300 people. They brought to this little town with a population of, like, 400 people. And they brought us into this big gymnasium at first. To check us in. Take our names or whatever and register us with uh, FEMA. And the people were wearing masks and gloves, greeting us. Everyone. As if we were disease-ridden, which we probably were. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, I smelled so bad. I was dirty. And um, they had sandwiches, and they had food, and people giving out socks, and just a clean pair of socks, you know. The most amazing gift I've gotten in my life, to this day, was a clean pair of socks. I remember this uh, man had come over to me with a bucket and a rag. And he took my shoes off and my socks off. And he started washing my feet. That's the closest to God I've ever been. Um, so, I was planning to stay the night at that um, camp. But um, this lady had come up to me and she said, Would you like to come home with us? And I said, Yeah, I would love to. I said, you know, my mom, she's going to send a ticket for me to catch a plane to go home. And um, so she said, well, come over to our house. And, we'll, you know, she ended up bringing me out to a steak dinner. And we went to this restaurant, and I ordered a, um, a steak and potato and all this. And I said, I want a beer. I want a Corona. <laughs> That's what I want. It's just me, Corona. And um, they said, I'm sorry, you know, this is a dry state. You have to have a, a, a card that you have to apply for at the DMV to be able to drink in this state. And I looked at the lady, I said, what? I said, are you, I, do you know who I am? I just came out of the hurricane. I just want a beer. And so talking to them, they ended up giving me a beer. 
and um, it was amazing. That first sip was like heaven. And um, that night I stayed at this wonderful couple, this man and woman, and they had a dog that lived across the um, across the farm from them. That they had built a house for her, and um, they let me stay in their room. And um, the next morning, I woke up to this beautiful farm in a, a small, quaint Texas town. It was just amazing. And watching the news was hard for me to do at that time, so I didn't do much of that. But um, I ended up catching a. They drove me to the bus station, and I caught a bus to uh, Houston, Texas where I met up with my grandmother and we were going to catch a plane back to New Hampshire and you know when I saw my grandmother it was all business it was like alright let's go come on we gotta go catch the plane we got on a plane and you know sitting there all we did the whole plane was talk about how we had gotten rescued because we hadn't talked and I didn't know how, how she had gotten out apparently they dropped a basket down on the roof and lifted her out And, you know, I'm like, Grandma, I'm like, I tried coming to save you. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get back in time. And I remember telling me it was okay. And, um, I remember we flew into the New Hampshire airport. And I remember, um, getting off the, the air, the air, uh, the, the plane. And, um, seeing my parents down there for the first time. And that whole time I was going on adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline. I hadn't slept in like six days. I got off the plane. I stepped onto the onto the ground, and I fell on my knees. And I remember my parents came and hugged me, and I was home. I made it. I made it out of there. Thank God. But um. Alright, so I'm going to save the aftermath for another video. <laughs> I think that's enough for now. I'm just probably really long, but I think it was necessary. For me, at least. But I hope you guys, um, you know, take something from this. You know, life is precious and it, it can change in a moment. But the, the will to survive is very strong. And God is real. You know, God is real. So anyway, um, I will see you guys later. And to all my new subscribers, I just want to say I've gotten 25 new subscribers um, in this month. And I appreciate it. From all of you, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video. And um, <laughs> thank you for watching my video. And I will uh, see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.